All right. Um, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, now, the name of this video is going to be The Locust of Revelation 9. Okay, now, over the past few years, I have uh, went into this topic before. It's been a good, I, I want to say, nine months since I did a sit down on this. So the Spirit just got on me to uh, want to go into this breakdown once again. Um, so, uh, I'm going to get into that. Uh, I'm going to read a few verses before, but then we'll get into the breakdown of Revelation chapter 9. Okay? Um, Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord God would do nothing, but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, so the Most High is the one who reveals this information. Okay, not, not these uh, so-called Bible colleges and, and schools. Okay? Now, I want to point out, I'm not going to read the verse, but if you go to Exodus chapter 10 and verse 12, it um, speaks about the locusts that the Lord sent to Egypt. Now, the interesting thing is, if you read that, it says they were commanded to eat the herbs and all green things. But in Revelation chapter 9, you'll see, it says if they are not there to eat the grass or any green thing. Okay, so this proves it's not really talking about locusts, because what do locusts do? They eat the, the, the greens. That's what locusts do. Okay, and I'm not going to do a breakdown of the whole chapter. We're just going to be going into certain, um, uh, basically the locusts. We're going to go over the locusts, not the, um, the, the, the uh, what, what is it called? I forget what, it's even, what it even calls them, because I haven't read the chapter in such a while. Or such a long time, whatever way you want to say it. Um, oh, the horsemen, the horsemen, the 200 million horsemen, um, which which they're talking about ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay, but we're not going to get into that breakdown today. Uh, I want to get this first. The Book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Yahushai, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his unto his servants. Things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and sanctified it by his angel unto his servant, Job, or John Salakia. Hey, I've been recording um, eight videos today. So if I stutter a little bit, then I say, hey, Salakia. But I record, I've been recording for about, I'd say, three hours today. So, um, you know, Salakia about that just is what it is. Um, but anyway... Um, as I said, I'm not going to read the whole chapter. I'm just going to get the uh, the breakdown of the locust, and then another day we will um, do the rest of the chapter, okay? Because we all should know what it's referring to. Revelation chapter 9 and uh, verse 1. And the fifth angel sounded, I saw a star fell from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, and as, as a smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Now that's talking about World War One, okay? Now the uh, the the pit the pit is talking about Europe, okay? Um, it's called a bottomless pit. Because over in um, Europe, there's a lack of minerals over in Europe, okay? That's, so the bottomless pit is talking about Europe. And, and the smoke, the smoke that's talking about war, okay? The first world war, okay? This, that's what the smoke's referring to, okay? Now, this is where it starts to get interesting, okay? Verse 3, and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing nor any tree but only those men which have not the seal of god in their foreheads i have told you earlier that if you go to exodus 10 and 12 it says that those locusts were commanded to eat all these green things but these locusts they're not there to eat green 
you know, grass and, you know, the, the herbs and all the other, you know, green things that are there. It says they are not to eat those. So these clearly cannot be talking about real insects because locusts, they don't go after people. The locusts go after the green herbs, man. Right? All right, that's what that's what locusts go after. Okay. Um, verse five. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as a torment of a scorpion when he strikes a man. Now the five months. Five months is referring to a five-year period. Okay. World War One lasted roughly around five years, okay? So that five months is really referring to five years, okay? Um, and you know, with the Most High, time is different with us. The scriptures tell you in Peter that a thousand years with the Most High is like one day, all right? So five months here is just five years, all right? Um, Let's see. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Right, and that's talking about uh, back in World War One when so sho uh, <laughs> shoulders <laughs> when soldiers alright, when the, the, the army men were, you know, wounded by being, you know, shot with a gun or something or whatever happened, maybe being stabbed you know, they didn't really have many, you know, good medical procedures they could do on the, the you know, the, the soldiers back then because, you know, they, they were not as advanced medically um, back then as they are, you know, in our current time period. Okay, so this, actually, World War One, this prophecy, this happened exactly 100 years ago. It's almost 101 years ago, but it was just 100 years ago that... Uh, World War One took place. Okay, so this this prophecy that we're reading here, this took place just um, uh, what, what would you what would you call it? Um, a century ago. Yeah, it took place one century ago. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Yeah, so those men they would want to die instead of going for that pain. Because, again, they, they didn't have the technology back then to be able to, to heal them the way they do now, man. All right, so it was very, uh, you know, uh, painful, the stuff they had to deal with back in that war. And this is where we start getting, you know, into the deep stuff here. And we're going to break this down and show this really is talking about World War One. Okay. Um, it says, and the shapes of the locust. Were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were like the faces of a man. Right now, right here, I pull up an image. Let me see if I can pull up my brightness. And I know my page just flipped over. I'll, I'll fix that. Um, this right here is an image of a World War I dogfighter jet. Okay, so these locusts and the book of Revelation are talking about the Germans' dogfighters. Okay, now I don't have a picture to show this. Matter of fact, let me see if I can even pull this up. I don't want to make this too time consuming, but um, let me see. Oh, there it is. Um, right here. If you look at this general, and you see that, that fluffy thing. Um, I believe on my side it's on the right, but it might be on the left on your side. Um, depends on the angle it shows up. But if you see that there, that is a, uh, that's, that's a, a hat they wear. Okay, when they when they went in these these airplanes, and uh, the reason I'm bringing that up 
Is you're gonna? I believe did, did we even read that far? It said they had a hair like woman, or if we didn't read that, it's gonna say that later on. Um, now when they wear this hat, it actually looks like they do have hair. Okay, so remember, these men they sit inside of these planes, and averagely on most of these planes, they'd have a back seat on the plane where they would have another man back there with a machine gun to shoot at the other, uh, the other uh, jets from the enemy side, okay? So when John saw this vision of the future, he's seen World War I, and he's seen the Germans uh, fighting with their dogfighter jets, okay? So that is the breakdown of Revelation chapter 9. I'm going to read the rest, of course, just to prove my case. Um, but this is the breakdown of this chapter. Um, yep, yeah, right here, verse 8. And they had hair as the hair of a woman, and their teeth were as the teeth of a lion. Right, now, um, on the side of these planes, you know, like, uh, you can pull up the images online. I'm not going to pull it up to show you, but if you go on Google, just look up a uh, jet with uh, teeth painted on the side. You're going to see they, they paint, like, shark teeth or lion's teeth, whatever you want to call it, on the sides of these planes. So back then, um, it could appear as these um, the, these jets had teeth on the side, okay? But it was really painted on. But again, this man was from 2,000 years ago, so he did not know what, um, what he's seen, okay? Now, another breakdown of this chapter that I've seen, and I usually subs would subscribe to this, and I did. I did subscribe to, to such a belief that I'm going to share next. Uh, but then I realized that uh, this clearly isn't true. And that was um, the belief I used to believe was this is talking about World War III. And they say that the smoke, that's talking about a nuclear bomb being dropped. And then the locusts are talking about helicopters. Which, believe it or not, there actually is a good comparison between helicopters and these locusts. But it is really just talking about the, the, the jets I showed you from World War One because it even says that this is the first woe. Now it says there are three woes in Revelation, which means the World War One, World War Two, and World War Three. Okay? So um it says this is the first one. Alright? So back then they didn't necessarily have those kind of helicopters. They had those uh those jets that I just shown you a few minutes ago. Okay, so that is what John seen. And if you see the, a jet like that flying in the sky, especially a whole fleet of them, I mean, obviously, if you seen that thousands of years ago, you'd think that looks like some type of insect of some, uh, some uh, sort, okay? So I can absolutely uh, understand why the prophet would describe it the way he did. And he did a good job. Uh, let's see. Verse 9, and they had breastplates, as it were, breastplates of iron, and the sounds of their wings were like the sound of chariots and many horses running to battle. Right, now, um, back then, just a hundred years ago, when they first invented these, you know, these planes, it was very um, loud. You would have to wear uh, ear protection so you don't damage your hearing by the sound of these planes. Now, today, the planes are not as nearly as loud as they used to be a hundred and some years ago, man. All right, I mean, back then it was deafening the uh, the sounds of, uh, of the, you know, the metal shaking back and forth from the vibration of, of the wings. So you see that clearly is referring to the, the these jets that I just shown you a few minutes ago. It's a clear description of these, all right? And notice it says they were made of iron. All right, they have breastplates of iron. Yeah, because the, the, the shell of the plane that the people flew in was made of iron. Okay? And they had s tails like scorpions. And there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men for five months. Remember, the five months is five years, and their, their stings, that's talking about the machine gun on the back of the plane. Okay, because you make, uh, again, you would have one guy to drive it, which he would have that hat on, and you'd have another man behind him in the, the, the back seat of the plane with a machine gun, and they would shoot the opponent's um, jets from the air 
And you can even find uh, where they reenacted on the, uh, the video on YouTube. You, you can pull that up and you can watch it. Okay, they just show you how, you know, they used to shoot the, the other, you know, uh, pilots with, the, with those guns in the air. Okay, so th that is, that's the uh, breakdown of the locusts of Revelation chapter 9. The locusts of Revelation 9 are talking about World War I fighter jets. Okay, and just to prove that this was World War I, this is uh, Revelation chapter 9 and verse 12. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Right, so that's clearly talking about the first few world wars there. All right, which the one we just read now, that was World War I. Okay, so uh, with that being said, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Which actually, real quick, there is actually a verse I wanted to bring up. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Just to back up my statement. in the book of Nahum. Oh, there it is. All right, Nahum, chapter 3 and verse 17. Yeah, listen here. It says, Thy crown are as the locusts, and thy captains are as the great grasshoppers, which camp in the hedges in the cold day. But when the sun arises, they flee away, and their place is not known where they are. Yeah, so it compares these generals to, uh, to locusts, all right? And it says the captains are like grasshoppers. Right, I just wanted to bring that verse up um, to just show even more evidence to support my, uh, my claim here. Okay, so that is the breakdown of Revelation chapter 9, the part of the chapter that is, because there's still a few more verses left in it. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yashai. And that she'll love.